If you've spent any time in Los Angeles, you've probably heard of the Griffith Observatory. But what I learned recently is that there's another observatory that the public can visit, the Mount Wilson Observatory. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to drive up into the mountains to see both a historic observatory and some scenic views of Los Angeles. To get to the observatory, we're going to be driving up into the San Gabriel Mountains near Pasadena. It's going to be about an hour and a half drive from where I live in North Orange County. And we're going to take the freeways up near Pasadena and then the Angeles Crest Highway up into the mountains. And I think it's going to be pretty scenic. But since it's going to be such a long drive, I think we better get going and I will see you on the mountain. So we made it to Mount Wilson, and if you can't tell, that's where the observatory gets its name. It sits on top of Mount Wilson, which is about 5,710 feet up, so we're pretty high up today. Um, it's free to visit here, and the observatory grounds are open to the public daily. However, they do tours on the weekends that are $15, and we signed up for the 11.30 a.m. one. I believe there's one at 11.30 and 1 or 1.30 on both Saturday and Sunday. Um, there's also a cute little cafe here that you can stop and get lunch at, and that's actually where you get the tickets for the tour as well. The only other main note that I have is that um, although it's free to visit the observatory if you don't take the tour, you do have to pay to park here because we're in the Angeles National Forest, so you need an adventure pass, which is $5 for a day, or you can get an annual pass and park a lot of different places like hiking trails and stuff. Those are available at the cafe as well, but the cafe is only open on Saturdays and Sundays. So if you're here on a day where it's not open, you'll need to go somewhere else to get the pass. And I think there's a list on the um, Forest Service website, which I'll link in the description. Um, I'll also put the link for the website for the observatory in the description, and they have all kinds of information about events that they have here, their tours, their history, and things like that. It's about 11.20, so we've got about 10 minutes before our tour starts, and we're gonna go get ready for that. I'll try to take some footage along the way, and I'll see you once we get back. Now I'm gonna show you some of the highlights of what you'll see on the observatory tour. I highly recommend going on this tour. You'll learn a ton and see a lot more than you would just walking around the grounds. The observatory was founded in 1904 by George Ellery Hale. As you walk onto the observatory grounds, there is a small museum where you can stop in to see early photos taken through the telescopes and a scale model of the observatory from the 1920s, among a few other displays. The next stop on the tour was the 150-foot solar tower, which was built in 1910. It was the largest instrument of its kind until 1962. The solar tower is used to make drawings of sunspots and their magnetic fields. It's still used for research today, and look! Einstein was here! And then we were on to the Snow Solar Telescope, which was moved to the observatory in 1904 from Wisconsin. It was the first instrument permanently placed on the mountain. It provided some of the best solar images of the time. Next stop was the 60-inch telescope, which was completed in 1908. It was used to obtain the first measurement of the Milky Way galaxy's size and our position in it, among other research. Private groups can schedule time for visual observing using this telescope with the Mount Wilson Institute. The last stop was the 100-inch telescope, which has been used to study stars, galaxies, planets, and more. Its capabilities have been kept up with the latest instruments, and it is currently still used by scientists for various types of research. And of course, the telescopes are very cool, but can we take a second and appreciate these mountain views? So we just finished our tour. It was about two hours long. I hope some of the videos and information I shared from it give you an idea of what it would be like if you came here. It's definitely worth it in my opinion, but now we're getting pretty hungry, so we're gonna head back down to the Cosmic Cafe and have some lunch with a view. So the Cosmic Cafe has things like drinks, baked goods, hot dogs, sandwiches, chili, things like that. Um, we weren't able to snag a table over by the area with the nice view, but I'll show you what it looks like over there after we're done eating. So the cafe seems like it's a pretty popular spot for hikers, bikers, people here for the observatory. And if you're lucky, like I was just showing, they have a deck, a bunch of picnic tables where you can see a really nice view off the mountain. But they're really busy right now, so I'm gonna walk down there so we can see it too. 
let's see if I can get to oh, a butterfly. I don't know if you can see the butterfly, but uh, let's see if I can get to a spot over here to show a nice view. Nicholas is not a fan of heights, so this is a Katie activity, but look at this view. Isn't that a nice view to have a picnic and eat lunch or just, you know, to enjoy? Everywhere up here is beautiful views. Even if you're not up here to learn a lot about astronomy, you can appreciate this beautiful mountain. Another thing I wanted to mention is that I've been seeing a lot of dogs up here and a lot of hiking trails. So I think this is a popular place to come hiking and you can even bring your dog. I wish I had a dog. I would bring it up here. But anyway, <laughs> the last thing that I wanted to do while we're here is kind of go and see some of the views, which I'm gonna do kind of over by the parking lot where we parked and see how far we can see today. It looks pretty clear, so I'm hopeful. I don't know if I showed it before, but here's the main parking lot. And then up to the right, I think there's some additional parking. There's quite a few people here hiking and walking around the observatory, but it's extra full today because there's gonna be a concert in the telescope. But then next to the parking lot, there's this open area. And around all these edges, we got more views. So let's go see. Get a picture of the telescopes from here, some of them up on the hill. Okay, here's a really good example of the views up here. It's decently clear today. I can't imagine it gets too much better than this on a normal day. But you can see downtown LA, I can see it. I can't tell if the camera is picking it up or not. It's something you gotta come see in person, I guess. Just giving you an idea here. The mountains. It's beautiful. So that was the Mount Wilson Observatory. In my opinion, coming up here makes for a great day trip on a weekend day. If you're into astronomy or hiking, or you just wanna see some scenic views and have a nice picnic lunch, they got it all here. Thank you so much for coming on today's adventure with me. I hope you'll join me next time. Until then, see you later, bye.